Well, guys, look what we have there. I brought the car down to my local car wash. This has been a long time coming, but if you look right there. Hello, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode from Salvage Nation. I know that this episode is an episode that a lot of you guys have been waiting for because today we're back on this car. Check it out. This car is getting to a good cause and I'll explain everything at the end of the video. But for now, I want to tear down that front end, start to sand, get that ready, and then I'll be installing these. Check it out. The interior had some ripped seats. I was trying to get them repaired, but I couldn't. So I ended up just getting two new front seats. We need to put those in. So there's a lot of work to do in this episode. And by the end of the episode, the car should be 100% finished. So let's get to work. Alright guys, so have a look right here. I went ahead and I sanded the bonnet and I went ahead and I sanded the front bumper and the wing. Now I did it with the bonnet and the bumper on the car because it just makes it easier when I'm sanding it but it's now time to disassemble some of this, take that bumper off because we're going to be breaking all of that down, taking out all of these grills and we're going to continue to sand that down and get it prepped for paint and then hopefully we can lay down some paint. So there's still a lot to do so let's continue.
guys, look what we have there. Oh my God, the Mercedes is sprayed. But we need to leave it overnight. Let that paint cure. Let everything just settle down, set. And once the dust is settled tomorrow morning, we're gonna come in and we're gonna start the assembly. And by the end of this episode, this car is gonna be 100% completed. But I'm gonna be telling you where this car is going at the end of this video. All right guys, so it's the next day here. And as you can see behind me, the car has been sprayed and I got a kill to put the front bumper and all the bits back onto the car. But before I give you the final review, I need to sort out some bits on the interior. And this is gonna be a first, let's check it out. As you can see, there are no seats in the car. Well, there are rear seats, but there's no front seats. And that's because I got the old ripped, jacked up front seats and I got rid of them. I chucked them in the bin and I'm gonna be replacing them with a set of seats, but they're not just any seats. They're a set of seats from a C-Class coupe. And guys, this is gonna be a first. I've never seen this done on YouTube before um, and I've never done it before but I'm gonna be fitting a set of C-Class coupe seats into a four-door car it requires a little bit of a modification but my theory is all mapped out and it should work um, I've already done all the mods that I need to do so let's go fit these seats and hopefully it all works I want you to tell me what you think I personally feel like they'll be bigger better so let's get the seats in we're gonna sort out the interior we're gonna polish all the paint polish up the whole car and then you're gonna get a final review on my 2015 Mercedes W205 listen this build has been epic ups and downs and you have been there for the journey and we've only got a short while to go before I finish this build and you get a final review so let's finish it off Guys, 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 there you have it. I've gone ahead and I've successfully fitted Mercedes Coupe seats. These are the sportier, more thicker, more comfortable seats. And I've gone ahead and I've done a little mod to get them to fit securely and they're fully functional and I've maintained all my features and I just think that they look a lot better let me just step back have a look at that they just set off the interior oh my god but have a look at this all the controls I've turned on the heat just to make sure that everything works the memory function is still working I'm holding number one and as you can see is going to the number one position everything's all working i just need to put back on that trim piece and tidy up the rest of the interior guys this thing is starting to take shape but it's getting quite late on me and i need to go and do some other bits on another episode so i'm gonna pick this up in the morning so i'll catch you guys tomorrow all right guys so it's actually the next morning here and i've brought the car down to my local car wash to make sure i get that nice special treatment on the inside and the outside and then i'm going to be showing you some slow motion shots of what we have achieved once we put in a little bit of hard work hard craft and a little bit of know-how this build has been a crazy build it's given me a lot of ups and downs a lot of headaches i've actually got a headache right now but here we are on the other side and I can't wait to show you how sick this car looks now. But for now, let's get the car cleaned up. Guys, this has been a long time coming, but if you look right there, this thing is looking so fire. And trust me, I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comments down below. I can't even say anything. Let's go check it out. If you guys are familiar with this build, you'll be aware of all the heartache that this car gave me. The first two episodes is literally nothing but pain and just hard graft. 
but have a look now if i open up the car on the interior everything on the inside is looking nice everything on the exterior is looking nice let me know what you think of this little spoiler that we added and i got a kill to spray that up but he's done a kind of like a gold spray job i don't know if you can see it on the camera but if you look you can see the carbon fiber on the underside and it kind of fades to this gloss black kind of finish and it just looks amazing the rear end just look how the car is set the car is sitting so so well um someone <laughs> you know what you can't beat a hater so obviously the car has been parked outside for a bit and someone literally just walked past and keyed it down the sides but i'm not gonna whinge i'm not gonna moan you know what if they weren't hating on me i would have been doing something wrong but trust me man just look at the front end on this car like it's literally and i just want to let you see we haven't got a booth we haven't got a spray booth but look at that like the finish on the front is just amazing and it still hasn't been flat and polished yet but look at that it just looks amazing back to the interior those coupe seats they're looking amazing they're fully functioning and they just set off the interior on the car and talking about interior the only thing that's missing is check these bad boys don't forget I've restocked on the Salvage Nation car fresheners and I think on this one, I'm gonna go for the Midnight Ice. That's all that's missing on this car. Let's get this up there, get it smelling nice and then we'll continue. And there you have it, Salvage Nation. We're dangling. Guys, if you wanna get one of these, head on over to shopsalvagenation.com. Support the channel, support your boy. But I'm just gas. check it out. Interior, all good. Everything's looking sweet. Everything's smelling sweet now. So guys, that's it for the paint process on my 2015 Mercedes W205. It is sprayed, it is smelling amazing. It's looking amazing and we are bang on the right track. I think I've got just one more episode on this car where we're gonna be doing the polishing. I'm gonna have to take care of that key mark. Uh, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna let it bother me. Um, I'm gonna take care of that. Just take care of the final bits and bobs, you know, tighten up this little nut here and there, put in some trim pieces in the interior that I needed to just finish off. I might do it off camera or I might do another episode on all of that stuff. Let me know what you think. Um, if you want another episode, I'll do one final episode on the polishing process and kind of like just buckling down everything. And if you don't want that, if I don't get enough kind of feedback saying that I want that, I'll just do it off camera. But you've had an amazing run and I want to thank you for rocking me on this build this was one of the more mentally draining builds it wasn't very difficult but it was mentally draining and if you haven't seen all of the other episodes I'll suggest going to check them out because it, it I feel like it makes a good watch but this is where we're gonna end this episode um, so like I always say guys keep it moving and I'll see you in the next one guys thank you for watching click here to see what YouTube thinks you should watch Click here to watch one of my previous episodes. And like it said there, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We out.